Hey, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. My name is Emilio and we've got ourselves one of these. Just came in the mail today and I'm really excited to set it up. This is a Kogan video doorbell, high definition. Got a little camera on the top of the doorbell so that when somebody rings the bell, you can see who is at the door. You can also talk to them, uh, which is really, really good. And what I love about one of these, and the reason I picked one up is firstly, they're not too expensive. They're actually very, very reasonably priced compared to a lot of other doorbells that are out on the market. There's some great doorbells out there, but what I found is not only the price, but the features on this was really, really good. Fully compatible with your Wi-Fi smart home. We're gonna get it set up with our Alexa suite of products across the Amazon range so that I can control it, talk on and off. What I love about this particular unit is not only the price, but the fact that it has a built-in battery rather than having to have uh, hard wiring. Of course, that would probably mean you need to call an electrician to come out. It can be charged over battery, which is what I exactly wanted. The other great thing is a lot of the competitors, uh, you have to subscribe to their sort of service so that uh, you can continue to save recordings that are recorded from your video camera. This one, it's got a little built-in slot where I can install a micro SD card and it records straight onto that. And of course, because it is a camera, you can actually see what's going on via an app, which we're gonna go through today on how to set it up and install it. We're gonna go and open it up. Warranty information, user guide. User guides are always helpful, but luckily you're watching this video, so this is your user guide. This is cool, a little chime. This being a very strange looking Australian plug for all you non-Australians. USB cable, very important. You wanna charge it, you can run it into your computer, you can run it into a USB charger, like an iPhone charger, something like that. You charge it, throw the little adhesive on the back of the doorbell so you can mount it to the wall. And you also get some screws if you do want to go and screw it in place. And here it is, looks really, really slick, really small. Got a bit of weight to it as well, which is good. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, to feel such good quality for the price. There it is, nice and slick. Black looks really, really good. So a few things on the unit, you've got the microphone at the very top, of course the big lens, you then have a light sensor and a motion sensor, and then of course the big button, which you will push to ring the doorbell. Little cover here on the back, which is nice. They're very considerate of dust. And a few of our different plugs there, of course you've got your on off switch, which you can just move left or right. There's the reset button, there's also the slot for your SD card, and then there's also the slot for your USB port to be running into so you can charge it. So the back unit right here is where you would stick the adhesive. You'd actually put that onto the back and you can stick it onto the wall. And there's also screw holes on here if you want to actually go and screw this into place. So now we are ready to go. We're gonna grab our USB cable, run it into the back of the actual doorbell itself. We're then gonna go get ourselves our smartphone, whether that be your iPhone or your Google Android device. From the App Store, you're gonna look for the Kogan Smarter Home application, download it, and then we can go configure it. Okay, so first things first is to download the Kogan Smarter Home app from the uh, App Store, from the iOS App Store. I'm doing this from my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the App Store right here. So here it is, Kogan Smarter Home. So let's open it up. So first things first is to register for a Kogan account. You then select your country and then your email address and then get verification code. So the next step is now to add our device. You can see right here it says add device. So within here you've got a list of uh, all of essentially the hardware that Kogan has on offering that way you can actually go and pair your hardware into your Wi-Fi network and get it working on your app. Essentially once your doorbell is plugged in, it is powered up. We of course have to find the doorbell, which is listed under home security. So we're gonna go and select doorbells. So what you'll need to check is on the doorbell that the actual indicator light is flashing as you see it right here. You need to ensure that your Wi-Fi network is, is the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and not on the five, because you won't be able to connect the doorbell to the five gigahertz network. So as it says right there, it's now trying to connect to your device and it will start to search for it. And once it's found, it will go and register it. 
So the device has now been detected. So we can click on done and now it's ready to go. So what I would recommend obviously the first time is leave it plugged into the USB for a while so that it charges and has enough sufficient battery. Uh, so uh, from here, you can do a few things. Let's just click on the very top right hand corner, the little uh, button there. And you've got some information here around your device information. So you can do screenshots, you can speak to it, you can also record. And we want notifications to be on. Okay, because you want to be notified when things are taking place. That's really the whole point of the doorbell at the end of the day to let you know when someone's at the door. Now that that is ready to go, it's working well. It's giving me notifications onto my phone. Uh, the next step is now to get it set up with my Amazon range of products. So this is the doorbell, the Kogan doorbell with the HD camera. We're going to set up within Amazon Alexa. So we're going to go and open up the application. If you don't have the app, you'll have to obviously download it, set it up, get it configured. Uh, we're assuming that that's all ready to go. Now your Amazon Echo app will have to now learn the skill. So we're gonna search for Smart Home. Smarter Home, there it is, the very top hit. And we now need to select Enable to Use. So remember that when we created the account itself, uh, you input in your email address and you, and you verified it with a password. So now you will need to input that email address and the password to essentially uh, log in and then link or pair those two accounts together. So login has been successful, which is great. We now can see Alexa by Amazon will be able to receive the public profile, control your devices over internet. This is against the Kogan account. So select authorize. Hopefully you're seeing this screen and if you are, great. Everything has now been linked successfully. We now wanna select discover devices. So now that it has the skill, it now knows what to look out for. This looks good. One camera has been found and connected. Of course, it's identified it as a camera, not a doorbell, but that's not a problem. Set up device. And now we can add the actual camera to a group. Under cameras, you'll see that it is listed right here. It's called Kogan Smarter Home Smart Video Doorbell. Now giving it a meaningful name, doorbell camera. So I've also got a group called outside where I already have some lights configured, including some backyard lights and some front lights as well on plugs and lights themselves. And I want to now add this doorbell camera into this group. Doorbell installed, doorbell set up and working really, really well within our smart home and within the Amazon suite of devices, which is really, really cool. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please let me know in the comments below your thoughts. If your feedback, that would be really appreciated. As always, if you did like it, like this video, click on the little thumbs up and remember to click on the subscription button and on the bell to be kept up to date with every one of my video releases. Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. We will see you next time.